Hi, in a recent live stream, I started a new textile art piece and I got a little bit of progress done on, on it the other day and then I started thinking about what was going to happen next and I got a little nervous. I felt like I messed something up. I wasn't sure what I was going to put on it next. I went and looked at a whole bunch of pictures on Pinterest and um, Instagram and just to kind of get inspired and I almost put it away and said, no, I'm not going to do it anymore. But then, you know, I, I'm, I'm in love with it, and I want something to stitch on, and I love the colors, and I knew I could figure it out. So I thought I would turn on the camera real quick and just show you some of the things I'm going through as I try and decide what I'm going to do next. So after the live stream, I was going to work on this some more. I decided I was going to continue to add to the knots that I was doing here. And that went along for a little bit, and I, you know, I'm definitely going to do some more knots in here, but I had too much cheesecloth, or so I thought. And I cut it and I think I cut too much and so the doubts the doubts started to creep in and I thought okay what am I gonna do here I'm I'm not sure so what am I gonna do here I don't know originally I was thinking I was just going to do slow stitching on this but when I grabbed the cheesecloth suddenly this became something more it was going to become a textile art piece which meant I could do anything with it right which should have given me a lot of freedom, except uh, being me, I started to doubt everything that I was gonna do. And as I was looking at it, I realized these green blotches, when I started this in the live, they were at the bottom. This is gonna hang, you know, it's gonna be a long wall hanging type of thing. And when I had done the seed stitches at first, they were in the wrong color, it was just too bright, didn't work for me, so I cut them out and I must have flipped it around. So then I really started to freak out. Now, why? There's no reason why. This is not representational of anything in particular, but this is the way my brain works. My brain says, oh, you didn't do what you thought you were gonna do, so it's not an adventure, it's a mistake. And I have to like slap myself and say, no, it's not a mistake, it's just a left turn. And you know, you can take another left turn and suddenly you're making a U-turn and you're gonna get someplace else and it's gonna be just as much fun. But I worry. So I figured, you know, here's, here's my thought process. I thought, well, okay, so the blotches, they were just a little too big up there. Um, I didn't like them. I, wanted, I didn't want to cover them up, but I wanted to tone them down. So I had some doilies that I had done with some recent dyeing, and actually they were the ones that I had put underneath this fabric and ran back and forth with my ink pad and got some color on them that way. So I thought, well... What if I just sort of, you know, I'm not covering them all up. You can still see it through there a little bit. But what if I do something like that? And then what am I going to do here? Well, I had a little piece of dark lace. Bring out my brown. And a little piece of, I don't know what this lining fabric is or something, but I just, I love it. And I've got to figure out what it's called so I can get some more. And then this is some silk waste that comes, you know, when you do your sari ribbons and you're unfolding them and they've got all those little frayed edges. That's what some of this is. So how well, just kind of combine that and see what we what we think. And I thought, okay, okay, you're on to something. Maybe this is gonna work. I might need something else over here. You know, I could play around a piece of the fabric that I cut out. I could bring something down here. And sew that on, something like that, maybe. But suddenly, I'm looking at this piece, and I, I love these colors. These are absolutely in my colors, these earthy colors here. But my cheesecloth down here is pretty light. So I have this, this light color and this dark color, and I thought, the dark actually belongs at the bottom. It's just, it's too heavy. So if I flip this around, I could do that, but I really don't like, I don't like it. It doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't do as much for me that with the cheesecloth going that way. It might work, but it just, it, it feels weighted wrong. And I was still mad at myself about cutting the cheesecloth, cutting too much of it off. I shouldn't, you know, normally I don't make cuts until I'm done with the project because, you, you know, things are going to change. So I thought, well, maybe I can weight this down a little bit more. You know, I could bring in some other fabrics. 
could bring in some other fabrics down here. I could bring in something off to the side. I think the black is too dark. It's not going to go there. But I had some more of this little lace. I still see some straight edges. I don't like straight edges on my lace if I'm doing this sort of thing. If you've seen me do my clusters, that's what I do. And maybe I could take another piece of cheesecloth. Rip that up a little more because I want it to go down. I want it kind of hanging down here, hanging off still. I'm going to continue these knots up and around. I'm going to add my lace so that I get a little bit more dark there, but it's awful dark, so now I'm going to add something else to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And here's some more lace I just cut with my seam ripper. I like things dangling off the edges. A little more of that silk waist. And I'm thinking, you know, that, that might work. You know, i got, I got to mess with it a little bit get some more things hanging. And then maybe if I took, I had some more of the doily that I had used, so I cut a piece of that apart and I could kind of add that in there somehow so it's connected. Something like that. That might work. And it kind of move it up a little bit, kind of touch the cheesecloth over here. It's like making a collage. You want to have everything connected. I don't have quite the dangle that I wanted down here, but I like it better with a little more dangle. I might. Maybe what I need to do is add some more cheesecloth. I'm going to cut a big piece, which is what I should have done the first time. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? And Maybe that's what I want hanging down. And do I want it hanging off the edge of this completely? Because I kind of like the idea of things hanging off the edges completely. Maybe, maybe. It's kind of heavy. I would have to add some more fibers and things, but it might be maybe that I need to Just kind of work that cheesecloth over here with some seed stitches. No, I'm, I'm not liking that either. But what I'm noticing now is, am I going to be okay with this blank spot in the middle? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe we want to add some couching of some kind. A little bit of sparkle. Maybe let's see. It's really hard to show you a long piece on camera. Maybe a little bit of sparkle goes into here. It could even come around this and then. go the whole length. It could come over here. I kind of feel like maybe something long might join things together, might be good. I could add a little bit of this under there. So I stitch the two together. I could do it so it goes the whole length. Hmm, maybe. Let me get a longer piece and try that out, but I think the color needs to be a little bit different. 
unless I took this is I think it's almost like clothesline or not clothesline um shoelaces and it was something I'd wrap some rust dyeing things in but it still feels like it might be kind of bright I think the sparkle might be wrong I think the idea of a fiber there is nice but the sparkle might be wrong So do you, do you doubt yourself when you're doing something like this, or do you just dive in? I'm not liking that on there, too. It still feels too light. I imagine most of you have moments of doubt, and really all we can do is just um, do something. Even if it's wrong and you have to rip it out, although I am not ripping out that cheesecloth. Okay, maybe sparkle that's more in the green. And just kind of like some random couching of that. Okay, I'm kind of liking that idea. I'm kind of liking that. Just sort of couching that down. Okay, that is giving me an idea that I could then come and grab this larger piece of the same kind of lace that I had there and it might come over here somewhere with some other dangly bits okay I'm thinking this might be something so I think maybe this is it not positive where all the couching is going to go but I think I'm off to a pretty good start. I've got my darker piece up here. I'm going to bring the couching down. I'm going to land back down at my cheesecloth. And there's going to be a lot of stitching that goes in there too. I need to quit worrying so much. So what if I just made a giant cluster? There's nothing wrong with that. we got to make our art our way. Just because it makes us happy to make it, right?